<laughs> the poet. The poet laureate for note. There you go. All right, let's see how oh, I never wore any glasses. Roses are red. I never wore any glasses. I got to turn sideways because the font is bigger. Well, got an iPad there? Well, I'm not going to put it up there. All right, let's see how this goes. We left St. John's on March 3 0 to head to the sunny south. The fog was thick and the planes were slow to get off the ground. With a fine big crew from the down home cruise to get out before the storm. So we'd make the ship and enjoy the trip with Royal Caribbean Cruise. So to board the plane was an easy task. Oh, thank you. <laughs> was not much time for delay. We taxied off to de ice the plane and head for the wrong way. But to our surprise, the fog dropped down and the pilots did retreat back to the gate where a computer technician did await. So with the pilots dead do reconfigured, do dead reconfigured, with an alternate landing site, the ice once more we did, and we finally did take flight. A bumpy ride to Halifax never bothered anyone. We had the sunny skies and sandy beaches waiting for us soon, so we thought. So the pilot announced that there's a storm in Halley and the runways were not clear. So we'd crawl, so we'd circle above for a little while till our diminishing fuel made us go elsewhere. <laughs> Quebec, he said, was our alternate site. So we slew her to, around to the port. With the throttles down, he gave her hell to get us on the ground. A quick stop was meant to be, so the pilot he did say. But after an hour with delays in Toronto, he said there was no way. So off the plane we land into the French. In, so off the plane in the land of the French. That's what it is. We had to spend the night. But first we had to rebook our flights. Deborah and Andrea took after that flight. Our spirits were still not too bad, but frustrated, yes, I'd say. But a few hours sleep and back to the plane. We knew all was okay. So off we took to the big TO to meet our connecting flight. It was only a nine hour wait, they said. She wants a few more hours, right? <laughs> so a bit of grub and a few old beers, our bellies full of delight. We made our way through customs to make our connecting flight. But the drama never ended there. I had the people on the road. Cause on a trip to the bathroom, I lost my friggin' phone. <laughs> so Chrissy to the rescue, he found the Jesus thing. I tell ya, I'll never ever mute a goddamn ring. <laughs> so just in time, our flight took off. Finally, good times ahead. We landed in Orlando, but for me, trouble ahead. No luggage did WestJet have for me. Just my bloody luck. A few choice words I had for them. You fly the luggage to me as fast as you can. <laughs> so now the old deal was over for the big group anyway. But not for Debs and Andrea. Their reservations were given away. A few days later, we we're on the ship full steam for sunny lands. An amazing trip was being had with music, friends, and dance. Music and friends every night in venues around the Oasis. Tom, Darcy, Connor, Mark, and Aaron, and Shani played your favorites. Now Todd and Grant were two fine hosts. Not quite sure who we see the most. Todd. But on the dance floor with his three legs, Grant swept around and danced away. It was fun, with guests showing their ability to sing. But Tom and Mary stole the show with that Kenny and Dolly thing. <laughs> so the downhill cruise is just hours from land. We'll go our separate ways. But with new friends met and memories to share, we'll do it all again next year. Thank you.